Okay, example number five. A stationary wave is represented by this expression here. So x and y are in centimeters and t is in seconds. So we have to, to determine the three smallest value of x, uh, in which x will still need to be greater than zero. That corresponds to nodes and antinodes. And then lastly, the amplitude of a particle at this specific distance. Nah? Okay, so um, we by comparing this to the general equation, which is equal to y, y equal to a cos kx sine omega t, we can actually get the value of lambda, which is the wavelength. Okay, so k here is equal to pi radian, a radian pula, pi per centimeter. So from here, we can then calculate the value of lambda, which is 2 pi over k. So this is 2 centimeter. Okay. So why do we need the value of lambda is because we are going to find the nodes and the antinodes. So we know that nodes is, it happens when y is at a minimum. So y equal to 0. Lah. Okay. Then uh, remember, this is just y equal to a cos kx okay so we can let this equal to zero so a is two a proper value of a five sorry five cos by x so we can then uh, zero divided by five is zero so shift cos by x equal to shift cos 0 so pi x is then equal to pi over 2 3 pi over 2 and then 5 pi over 2 okay so it will only happen at x equal to 0.5 centimeter 1.5 centimeter 2.5 centimeter ataupun kita boleh directly use the formula which is equal to x equal to n over 4 lambda okay where n notes happens the odd number 1 3 5 2 okay dari sini pun kamu akan dapat jawapan yang sama which is 0.5 centimeter 1.5 centimeter and 2.5 centimeter right Okay, and then we are going to do the next one, which is for antinodes. So, antinodes happens when y is at a maximum, which is equal to the amplitude. Lah. Okay, so this is just y equal to a cos kx. So, a is 5, 5 cos k. Sorry, this is pi x by 1. Okay, so from here, uh, 5 over 5 is 1, so we are left with, eh, kenapa sini pi? Sorry, this is pi x. So, this is pi x equal to shift cos 1, which gives us pi x to be equal to 0, pi, 2 pi, and 3 pi, which is x is equal to 1 centimeter. 2 cm and 3 cm. Okay? Ataupun we can use the formula directly which is m over 2 over, uh, times dengan lambda where m is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay? So x here is going to be equal to 1 cm, 2 cm, 3 cm. Okay? So that is how you apply our... Uh, our formula formulas that is given in this table here okay okay and uh, now we are asked to find the amplitude of a particle uh, based on this okay so again amplitude of a particle from the table you know we can use a is equal to a cos kx okay all right so now x is equal to 0.4 x equal to 
cm so kita substitute lah a is equal to 5 is equal to 5 eh kejap pun nampak jatuh silap so amplitude is equal to 5 cos pi x is 0.4 which gives us the amplitude to be equal to 1.55 cm okay remember this is telling us the amplitude at any point of in the wave okay at any point in the wave so that's why we can use that and then this is a equal to 5 cos pi x so 5 cos pi this one is for 1.2 which gives you an amplitude of negative 4.05 centimeter and then lastly a is equal to 5 cos pi x where x here is 2.3 okay so it gives us a value of 2.94 centimeter as the amplitude